This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.7.0. Activity Feed, a new course homepage widget that provides a central location for instructors to post messages and links to course materials, is now available to clients in the U.S. and Canada. For more information on the microservices that Activity Feed relies on, please review the release notes. Before you can use this widget, you must enable the D2L, Tools, Activity Feed, Show Widget Configuration Variable. This configuration variable will be available at the end of April after all continuous delivery wave deployments are complete. It will not be visible when Brightspace Learning Environment 10.7.0 is first released. You can turn on features of the tool for specific courses by adding override values. You must also use IMS configuration to map IMS roles to Brightspace Learning Environment roles. After the configuration variable is turned on and the IMS roles are mapped, you can add the Activity Feed widget to the default course homepage or notify instructors that the widget is available for them to add to custom homepages. When learners create a post in Activity Feed, it gives them the ability to quickly access links to important materials and comment on messages made by instructors and classmates. Instructors can now add a course image banner following the navigation bar on widget based course homepages. By default, the D2L, Tools, Homepages, Banner, enabled by default configuration variable is turned off. Turn the configuration variable on to opt in to using the banner image. If the configuration variable is turned on, users can click the More Options menu on the course banner to remove the course banner. If the configuration variable remains turned off, instructors can select the Display the Image in a Banner on the Course Homepage checkbox on the Course Offering Information page to turn on the banner. Instructors can now preview equations in line when creating quiz questions using the new question authoring experience. Now, when instructors create a quiz question that includes a math equation, They can preview it in line with the text content. Instructors and learners can now leverage an accessibility checker that is available within the HTML editor for use within content, widgets, quizzes, and other tools. This feature implements PI Item D3094. After you add content to the HTML editor, Click Check Accessibility from the HTML Editor bar to ensure that the HTML page conforms to WCAG and Section 508 accessibility standards. The checker indicates whether there are issues and offers suggestions to fix identified accessibility issues. The long answer question type has been renamed Written Response to make the name more intuitive for administrators and instructors. When an instructor creates a new quiz question, they can choose the Written Response Question option. This Lang term has been updated throughout the question creation interface in both the old and new quizzing experiences.